Hello everyone, peace of the Lord Jesus Christ. As you see in the screen, this is a question made by a Muslim and I hope he will watch this video and I guarantee him if he watch it to the end he will leave Islam big time. Because honestly I like your question even if it looks stupid for me the way you are explaining our Bible but it's okay, you are a Muslim after all. We cannot make a donkey horse unless he decide to be a horse. They say he went as a donkey and he never came back as a horse. I hope you understand. Did evils come from God directly or through free will of mankind? So for you, as I understand from your question, you refuse to accept that God created evil or God is the reason of evil directly. Cool. Well, I agree with you or through free will of mankind actually not only free will of mankind it's free will of mankind of Satan and Satan too both they worked as a team because Satan he cannot make you do things if you don't agree so both and I agree with you now let us see how he proved his point that God in Christianity create evil I will show you how smart is Muslims I you from the light and create darkness I bring pr pr you know, prosperity and to create disaster, I the Lord do all those things. Okay. When I read your explanation, you are saying that this, when God He say He create darkness and disaster, is not a creation of mankind. Absolutely, it's not. You as a Muslim, Mister, do you believe that uh, uh, the flooding of Noah, which is written in your Quran, that your God Allah He flood all the earth? To kill people is made by human? Or you as a Muslim, you have a very short memory. I understand. You are a Muslim. As I said, you cannot make a donkey horse. When your God Allah, He took a story from the Bible and He put it in His book. The story of burning cities for being gays and lesbian. Is that a disaster or no? Huh? when your God Allah he say in the Quran that he created thunder so he can shoot people in their butt and burn them is that evil or good I'm sure you will say this is a punishment okay same our God he create you know he created everything in this universe and he punished people the way he like is it you accept that you know you will go to hell if you are not a believer? Is that a disaster or this is a wealth for you? It's a happiness. It's a disaster for mankind to go to hell. Disaster is any harm. Harm as a punishment or not. Now there is disasters who happen by order of God to punish people and there is disaster who happen by, by nature like a volcano so God he can do order nature to do things in the same time not every disaster is coming from God because nature have a power and the nature go by physics the, the way it moves like volcano there's a certain time the earth cannot handle it anymore and the volcano have, have to come out earthquake storms etc snow flooding there's a flooding can be made by God and there's a flooding can be made by just a storm so if this is evil for you this is mean that your God Allah is evil the most important thing for me in here in your question you know but before I go there maybe you need to, you need me to show you some reference right because you will say come on Quran doesn't say what you said let us see I will give you just one of them you know that you know the verse about uh, 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 the flooding of Noah, you know the story about the the, Euro, the prophet of Islam, Lut. You know, for us, he's not he's no prophet, by the way. Okay, uh, uh, when uh, the God of Islam he burned two cities, but just I will give you in here one. That's your God, Allah. He he created thunder just to shoot people in their butt and burn their butt and kill them. But the most important thing is the following. The free will, the free 
will. If there is a free will in Islam, the whole argument in here you made, trying to prove that there is no free will. So right now, I will show you in Islam there is no free will. But before I go there, Jesus, he said, not everyone, he said, Lord, Lord, to me will enter the kingdom of God, but the one who do the will of my Father. So you have the right to do the will. You have the right not to do the will. So if you choose to do the will of the Father, you go to heaven. We have a very few you know, free will, not in Islam. You don't have that. Let me show you. I'm sure you are just a poor kid like your Prophet Muhammad who do not know how to read, how to write. There is one of the most important concept of Islam to believe in the destiny. It is good and evil that Allah He has ordained both good and evil. So when you're God, and by the way, this is an Islamic site, and you can go yourself and see the concept of believing in destiny of it is good and evil. If you don't believe in this in Islam, you are out of Islam. So you see how stupid your argument is? You as a Muslim, one of the most important concepts of Islam to believe in the destiny, it is good and evil. Do you see the word evil there? No, no, do you see it? Listen, shut up. Do you see it? I will make it big for you. Tell me, do you see it now? It's or it's not clear for you yet. So from your mouth, if you, if anyone believe in a God and this God He create good and evil, and He is the reason of evil, and not only that, in here this is a destiny, which means your God not only creating evil. He is deciding for you your evil life or your good life. This is how filthy and how stupid is the God of Islam. He will decide for you what is going to happen to you exactly. And by the way, this is not my website. This is islamiccity.com. You can go to any website and you can read it. This is one of the most important concepts in Islam. If you don't believe in it, you are not a Muslim. So, as long now we prove to you that the God of Islam, He is the one who created evil, and not only one, not only created evil for you, He is the one who will decide for you if you are going to be a believer or not, a disbeliever or not, short or tall, handsome or ugly, poor or wealthy destiny do you know what destiny mean right I'm not going to teach you English so if I am you now I will decide to leave Islam right away and I will come to Jesus Christ and I will say you know what you are the real God Allah he is the one who decide for people before he create them even if they are going to be believers or not if they are going to be evil or not he is the one who is creating evil if you read in here guys you see that as of for Allah creating acts we believe so acts is not the work of a man it's an act of Allah we believe that Allah real do door of everything is Allah he is the one who burns not the fire or the person who lighted the fire he is the one who cuts not the knife or the person holding the knife he is the one who drawn a man not the water or the person he is the one who throw him in or so forth this is your God Allah it is not the knife who is killing, it's Allah. It's not the, the fire is burning, it's Allah. So if somebody write a fire in your house, according to the destiny of Islam, it is not him who did the crime, it's Allah. Because Allah decide that. He is using a human as a tool according to Islam. You see how stupid your religion is? Your God Allah is the most filthy God ever.
so next time before you come to me and you ask question count to 100 maybe to 1 million because I promise you and I promise you God and I promise your prophet the fake one Muhammad that I will be the head of your God I will expose your God and I will make you look like a fool the same as your God he is Jesus is Lord Islam for fool and everyone who believe in the destiny of good and evil have to be fool and stupid Amen. I